Hello guys, uh, I want to show you that uh, you can run uh, Bitcoin full node in uh, Synology uh, NAS but uh, it's better another device that it's also a good Raspberry Pi uh, for alternative. So you can see how big the Synology is actually or maybe you can't see. Um, it's big, I mean it's relative but uh, maybe smaller than some computers it makes noise as you can hear uh, it's the Synology mm, Synology TS916 plus it had 2 gigabyte of uh, RAM uh, um, I bought some not original 8 gigabyte RAM and I added and then I did a virtual machine I will show uh, that was uh, divided by 2 gigabytes for Synology always and 6 gigabytes for the Bitcoin node. Um, I will show you. But then, surprise, surprise. Sorry. Sorry guys. So what I have here, what I have here, what I have here is the real baby I wanted to show you. So it has four disks, but look what there is inside here. And the noise, my fiance didn't like the noise, and look at here. This is the real device I want to show you. So look at the size. It's like the size of two um, hard disks. One is actually inside. I put the SSD inside there you can do it also without brackets uh, or you can buy the plastic bracket for Synology um, and this the base system is in this SSD it's uh, Russell MX500 if I remember correctly but this baby here sorry this baby here is like the size of two hard disks um, and then oh let's say one it's even smaller than let's say if i take out this one i shouldn't take it out when it's working but yeah so you can see the size it's uh, smaller than the 3.5 disc and the this size the size is like half of the ssd the uh the 3.5 one the 2.5 one and this is called Odroid M1 I have the speed tests in my website you can click the links and go to see it's very nice okay I hope you are surprised of the size and it's quiet it's basically running the node now already like one month or something with uh, um, uh, Umbrella OS and it's not hot basically ah yeah it started to uh, make the noise because i take out this when it was operational so let's try to put it back okay yeah i shouldn't take it out basically okay thank you bye hello guys this is shorter version of the video so i'm running a uh, Bitcoin node first I was running in my Synology D916 Plus I did a virtual machine for it for Ubuntu um, can show you I put uh, in maximum GPUs uh, I, I installed one terabyte uh, crucial um, SSD MX500 I put uh, I changed the memory from 2 to 8 not original memory for Synology I get two gigabytes RAM for the for the Synology and six for this virtual machine. I used uh, four GPUs. Virtual machine priority I put high, and then from storage you can see that uh, I used the maximum storage I could uh, because I needed to let something for Synology also. And actually you can see from the storage manager that it's almost full. It's 150 or less is left um, yeah 147 
So I'm running Umbrel, but I want to show you also that this is just a sort of little resources that is using almost all the resources, 96 for the CPU and the memory 90%. As you can also probably notice um, here, memory is 6 gigabyte is used, OS CPU 7%. Then I'm running Umbrel, and in the settings, as you can see, I'm using half of the um, RAM already without running basically anything, just Bitcoins. No, this setup, I haven't set up C3P server or Lightning node or anything, Electrus or anything else. Um, and, ah, yes, I didn't update yet also to 0.5.4. That is for me, seems for my experience, personal experience, it's using more memory. Mm, yes, so the Bitcoin node is running. Um, as you can see, it's working. Because you can see here the EP, it's this one, and this is the EP I connected to Umbrella with. It should be also Umbrella local, maybe. Um, that's it. Um, I hope it was useful, and I would really uh, recommend to think about uh, if you are thinking about to upgrade. Uh, hardware but of course first you can use the hardware you find already at home i would recommend really Android m1 8 gigabyte ram version and i will make another video about it because it doesn't make noise it doesn't get hot because it heatsink is integrated and it's faster because even if it uses two lanes from the four lanes so it uses the nvme ssd and i use the samsung 970 evo one but it's perfect for the node and it's uh, very small much much smaller as you can see from the video as you could see than the Synology one and so it's PN safe wise and girlfriend friendly you can just say that it's a media center and actually I'm also using it for the torrent and uh, everything else okay video files bye bye thank you